Hello, my name is Miss Christine and I would like to read to you guys a story today. It's one of my all-time favorite stories, The Cause Dream Snow by Eric Carl. On a small farm, there lived a little farmer. He had only a few animals. He could count them on the fingers of one hand. So the farmer named his animals one, two, three, four, and five. By the end of the barn stood a small tree. The farmer named it Tree. Hello, Tree, he would say when he passed it. The farmer took good care of one, two, three, four, and five. Every day he fed them and cleaned their stops. In the evening, when his farm work was done, he went to his house. Then he sat in his favorite chair drank a cup of hot peppermint tea, and ate a slice of bread with honey on it. One night, as he sat there, the farmer felt cozy and a bit tired. Heavens, he said, yawning, it's almost Christmas and it hasn't snowed yet. With that, he fell asleep. Soon he dreamed of falling snowflakes that gently covered him with a wide The snowflakes gently covered one with a blanket. The snowflakes gently covered two with a blanket. The snowflakes gently covered three with a white blanket. The snowflakes gently covered four with a white blanket. The snowflakes gently covered five with a white blanket. The farmer woke up, oh, up from his dream, looked out of his window and saw snow. It was not dream snow, it was real snow. It had snowed while he had napped. Now the snow cloud had moved away. The moon and the stars sparkled in the wintry night sky. One, two, three, four, and five were safe and fast asleep. Oh my, oh my, cried the farmer, I almost forgot Quickly, he put on his warm coat, his warm boots, and his warm hat, and his warm gloves. He grabbed the box, slung a snack over his shoulder, and dashed outside. Running past one, two, three, four, and five, the farmer shouted, I almost forgot, I almost forgot, waking up the animals. They looked and wondered what the farmer was up to now. They watched as he unpacked the box and emptied the sack. One, two, three, four, and five watched as he decorated the tree. Then he shouted, Merry Christmas to all, and pushed a button. And that's the end of my story. Miss Christine wishes you guys a merry.